Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news so of the gospel. Divided. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good, after, good evening and welcome to our program tonight. We hope that you'll stay with us and uh, we and our phones are, uh, we have people on the phones if you need to call. We appreciate hearing from a lot of you and uh, all the Christmas cards. I love Christmas cards. I have them all on display here in the hallway. If you came ever came through here, you'd see all the Christmas cards on display. I uh, guess that's just part of Christmas that we always think about is uh, essential is uh, having a few Christmas cards around. So uh, there's a lot of things to make us uh, realize this is the most important time of the year. A lot of times are important, but this is where the center of our whole life and our whole existence uh, is, is in uh, why we have Christmas. Well. Uh, in view of that, but well, we want to welcome all of you. Let me tell you, say, tell you that first, so that you can uh, uh, relax and enjoy the good uh, uh, music coming up. And this scripture that I'm going to share tonight, it is uh, telling us one one uh, account of why we have Christmas. And in Matthew, the first chapter, starting with the 18th verse. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. When Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee uh, Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Jesus. Emmanuel, which being interpreted as God with us. And Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not until uh, she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And so that is why we have uh, this time of the year, is, is because Jesus came and he was on a mission, and that's why that that's why that we want to spend all of our time reminding ourselves of what why Jesus came, and so we want you to know him in a personal way, and so we uh, we are thankful that the Lord loved us enough to manage this for us. Well. Um, there's a lot of good memories, a lot of good things about Christmas, but remember Jesus is the reason for it all. And so uh, tonight uh, we hope we can focus in on this and and uh, get acquainted with him personally. I have a praise report, a salvation report I want to share before we even get started. And this came in on a, one of the replays. Uh, Freddie from Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, he called and rededicated his life to the Lord. And uh, he has some physical needs that needs to be prayed for. But we thank the Lord for Freddie from 
Greenville, Tennessee for accepting the Lord as his Savior. So uh, we, uh, we just thank the Lord that that decision has been made. We have a special request for Bruce Combs right now. He's in the hospital needing some special help. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you that Jesus came and that he died for us. And so we thank you for this season of the year, all the good things, all the love and the kindness and the uh, friendship that we see uh, being exchanged and enjoyed. And so uh, we just ask you to bless each person tonight, help them to get their mind focused on you, Lord, and on what you have done for us. Bless each person uh, that will be a part of this. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight our guest is his anointed ones from Flatlick, Kentucky, and they have something to show you tonight. They have a brand new CD, and you may order this by calling 606-280-5513, and it has their pictures on the front, and so they'll be talking about it more a little later. But right now, let's welcome his anointed ones. I want to thank, uh, thank the Lord for being here tonight and thank him for everything he's done for me. I want to send this out to uh, a good friend of ours, Nathan Purcell. I hope you're watching. I told him I'd send it out to him. He loves this song, and uh, I told him I liked him just a little bit. Not much, though, but I hope he likes it. Oh, her hand. 
for, for me. me. send this next song out to Phyllis and Dean Blackburn. They'll know this song because I used to help Phyllis all the time with this one. And I'm, I'm glad I had an opportunity to sing with them. So. Mm High -hmm. upon a mountain An angel of the Lord declared that he would be. He said, Don't you stand there grieving for the one that you see leaving in like man is coming back for you. send this next one out to uh, Larry and Jennifer Young. I hope they're watching tonight. I'm going to send it out to Betty Owens. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm going to send this out to Sister Cup, too, if she's watching. She likes this song. I started out to walk in the light shining upon me from heaven so bright I'll take this world and its fullness of thee Lord I started in Jesus and I'm going through I'm going through. Yes, I'm going through. I 
Jesus alone than to have for my pillow like Jacob a stone. Live at each moment with his face in my view. For I started with Jesus and I Going out to Brother Jim Cook. Great Beggy and all my family, Ernestine, every one of them. Sister Gail and all the church down there. Larry and Jim Flynn. And Dean Phyllis Coo. When I look, I look around the sea.
I'm going to send this one to um, our church, Road Fork House of Prayer Holiness Church. I'll send it out all to the members there. Been in this storm, and it seems like forever. Yeah, oh, the night of confusion—it's been oh so long. Your ship has lost anchor. The storm's got you drifting, but the night's almost over. Just ride out your storm, ride out your storm. God's right there with you.
your morning is coming. Just hold on to Jesus and ride out your storm. He'll never leave you. Just ride out your storm. Judy and Steve, and I'm not going to pronounce their last name because I will get it wrong, <laughs> but they know who they are. Send it out to Lucas, too. <coughs> Welcome home. Can you turn Scott's mic up a little bit, please? There's a day just out in front of us, I know will surely come. Those eastern skies will open wide, revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven, it's but a twinkling of an of all his glory you'll hear the sweetest cries welcome home I knew you'd go welcome home you're here Look around, and he wrote the way. Welcome home, stay through the door. I believe at least for me I'll see my mom and my dad my brothers and my sisters everywhere I look a friend and the greetings will be precious from those we love so dear no mortal man has ever seen or heard the things we'll hear. Welcome home. I knew you'd go. Welcome home. You're here for me. Look around, and he wrote the way. Welcome home, stay through the I believe at least for me I'll see my mom and my dad My brothers and my sisters 
Everywhere I look a friend And the greetings will be precious From those we love so dear No mortal man has ever seen Or heard the things we'll hear Welcome home Send this out to everybody that's watching tonight. I didn't forget you. <laughs> I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before.
we got a singing uh, tomorrow night. <coughs> Joyful, cha- Joyful Sound Trio will be at the Road Fork House of Prayer. Starts at 7 o'clock. It's a benefit singing, and we'd like for all who can around in the area come and see us. Um, I'm going to sing... Um, you, Lord, for your blessings on that. Give me an A. While the world looks upon me as I struggle There's 
somebody out there with arms open wide who longs to embrace you wipe the tears from your eyes he's hope for the hopeless he'll carry the burden you bear when you don't have a prayer There's somebody out there who thought it was cool to keep taking chances, thinking they never lose. Now they're hooked on a feeling that's left them empty and cool. There's somebody out there who can't quite decide whether to live or whether to die they're searching for strength to make it through their crisis in life but there's somebody out there with arms open wide who longs to embrace you wipe the tears from your eyes he's hope for the hopeless He'll carry the burden you bear. When you don't have a prayer, there's somebody out there. There's somebody out there who thought it was cool to keep taking chances, thinking they never lose. Now they're hooked on a feeling that's left them empty and cool. There's somebody out there who can't quite decide whether to live or whether to die they're searching for strength to make it through their crisis in life but there's somebody out there with arms open wide who longs to embrace you wipe the tears from your eyes he's hope for the hopeless he'll carry the burden you bear When you don't have a prayer, there's somebody out there. Jesus is somebody out there. Give me a D on this one. This leg right here singing. God put it together. Make welcome to my lovely wife, Tina Farmer. We got her son running around somewhere. And my name's Collie Farmer, and I thank God for Longy King playing steel and get car, and, and Brother Don Levin playing the bass for us. And we make up his anointed one. If there wasn't a true Lord, I just couldn't go on. I couldn't face tomorrow, ever sing another song. There'd be no reason for the sun to ever shine again. This world we Without our Lord would only be the end. But I know oh, there's a true Lord. He lives in me. I can 
can face tomorrow and eternity. I can go on, I can sing my song, lift up his name, because there's a true Lord, there's a reason for me. Can you imagine a little babe with no one to care at all? To nourish it or cherish it or to be there if it should fall. Can you imagine the daytime without light to see? Or can you imagine this world without Calvary? For I know oh, there's a true Lord. He lives in me. I can face tomorrow and eternity. I can go on. I can sing my song. Lift up his name. Because there's a true Lord. There's a reason for me. Yes, because there's a true Lord. There's a reason for me. Thank you, uh, his anointed ones from Flat Lake, Kentucky. They do have a brand new CD that uh, is all ready for you to order if you would like uh, by calling 606-280-5513. And you'll be talking to Tina uh, Farmer there and uh, they'll tell you all about their CDs and where they're going to be singing next. And uh, so we have uh, some prayer requests from the phone. So Justice family from Hurley, Virginia. It says the whole family needs prayer tonight. Larry from Pulaski uh, had a fall today and uh, is uh, hurting from that. From Lincoln County, someone has called for uh, two sons that uh, has addictions, it says, and they want prayer. They'll be delivered. Naoma from Wolf County uh, has had a light stroke, just got out of the hospital, and speaking is hard for her to do right now, and her sister-in-law is uh, uh, having some health problems too. Linda from Morgan County, uh, Joyce from uh, Pike County, her sister has called for her, she's in AFib right now. O'Ryan from Hurley, Virginia is in the hospital, and Kay has had a leg amputated. Uh, Sarah from Fayette County for Edna uh, Moore that's in the hospice and they're not expecting her to make it through the light night. Jerry from Montgomery County. A mother has called from uh, um, Laurel County for her son that's lose, uh, losing blood. Uh, Tony from Powell County, William from Pulaski County, uh, and uh, Tina, if you, uh, you all want to come up and uh, uh, talk to us here, that'll... Uh, uh, Terry from Menifee County for his family, Mary from Knox County, uh, Phyllis and Mickey from, uh, from Laurel County, uh, all of them have health issues. Uh, Geneva from Johnson County uh, has a bad cough, and Wilma has also called. Mary from Pulaski for Harold uh, having a heart cath, uh, and uh, Mary is having a PET scan on Monday. Jeremy from Fayette County for uh, Dorsey's sister, and uh, also for Caleb. 
J Jeremy always listens to Caleb in Lexington, and so he he's wanting prayer because Caleb plays gospel music. And uh, Peggy from Breathe County, for all of her fr uh, family, uh, she's still one of those people trying to get reestablished after the flood and still having uh, some difficulties. Uh, Rick from Ellick County, for a niece and nephew that's in the hospital, uh, has b birth defects. Uh, here's a praise report. Alberta from Morgan County, praise the Lord for all he's done for her. Thanks God uh, for WOJC and and thanks the Lord for her uh, for her son. Um, he uh, that touched him. The, well, let's see. It looks like the Lord touched him through surgery and uh, and he answered prayer. Wayne from uh, Knox County. Uh, needs prayer and enjoyed the program tonight. Uh, Thelma from Madison County, Mary uh, f uh, for Paul that's bleeding in the brain and is in the hospital. Bruce Combs, he is real sick now. Bruce is a former school teacher from Lee County. A lot of you know him. He needs your prayers right now in a special way. Janice uh, from Bourbon County, special unspoken request. Lady from Whitley County, 91 years of age. This is her church. And she uh, thinks, uh, she's thankful for having the Arab Harvest Program uh, nightly. Thank you for calling. Louise from uh, Pulaski County. Uh, Sheila from uh, Estill County. All right, glad to hear from you, Sheila. Um, Louise from Pulaski, uh, blood countdown, having a blood transfusion. Uh, Breath of County Jeff, pray for his mom that has cancer. Nancy, for her grandchildren and also for George. And this is from a friend for uh, uh, the Dotson family. Stella from Arnold has called for Stella from Pulaski County. All right, a lot of sick, a lot of the sick people. Uh, and we're going to be praying for these. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Tina, you or uh, Scotty, which one want to talk and tell us about uh, about your CD more? Well, we do have our new CD out, and it's called um, I Believe is the name of the album. And uh, we just recently uh, released this. We do have them for sale. Um, they're $12.00. Uh, for the CDs and we do have flash drives for those who don't have CD players in their cars they have flash drives those are 15 um, you can we take like PayPal uh, Facebook pay you know if we mail it out to you it'll be a little bit extra um, but that's what we have available right now and we've sold a lot of them and we want to get our music out and our ministry out to everyone um, this is everybody's church seems to be like here lately, you know, because I know a lot of people can't come out to church. They're sick or afflicted and they can't come out. So, you know, we want to get this out to you all. Um, just message me, um, number 606-280-5513. If you want one, just send me a message and I'll be sure to get it to you somehow or another. Okay, any special song on here you want to mention that was a special um, meaning, meaning to them? Yes, I Believe is, uh, that's how come we named the album I Believe. Um, actually, it's the most requested song that uh, I get when we go to church, uh, different places. They're like, sing that song, I Believe. You know, that's a beautiful song, and I felt led to name the album after that. Um, so that's the that's the reason why we did that yeah okay all right okay scotty what do you got to say <laughs> you like the picture don't you you mean <laughs> now no, scotty we, told me this is a professional picture right, right. <laughs> you know we we had a three knife revival over at new tab with king and say they treat us real good in the church and and they they love us up there and a member of the people in the nursing home 
Sister Marjorie and Nurse Home Hospital and Jail House and they, mm -hmm. they need the Lord in their life. The mm -hmm. way this world is right now, we better be getting closer than we can because he's mm -hmm. coming back after his church. That's mm -hmm. right. And the Lord blessed us with a new album. And if anybody ain't got nothing where else to go Saturday, come down Williamsburg uh, Gospel Barn down there. And the cup is right down there. So I used to play with him for 17 years. And I just love coming up here. Okay. And everything. All right. Mm -hmm. So y'all be singing Saturday night at Williamsburg? Uh, yeah. We'll be singing uh, Saturday day. Well, not Saturday day. We'll be visiting Saturday day. But Saturday night, yeah, Scott will be probably uh, performing because okay. he's helped perform with them before. Okay. So, yeah. All right, we've got to pray a short prayer. So would you all lead us in that? Father, we ask you, Lord to God, I'm asking you to bless this, all the requests, Lord to God. I ask the Lord to bless this WLJC, Sister Marjorie, Lord, everyone in here, Lord to God. And God, I'm asking you to move. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Well, that, you took me at my word, didn't you? You knew we had to run out of time. I always, right. do, I always do it. It'll come down. Yeah. All right. That's good. All right. Well, uh, thanks for the uh, anointed ones being here tonight. And so from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.